whereas is provided by Section 621 of the Public Finance Management Act, Cap 15.01, the Act, that the Minister of Finance may, by affirmative resolution of Parliament, borrow from a bank or other financial institution for the capital or current expenses of government, and whereas is further provided by Section 64 of the Act, that money borrowed by the government must be paid into, the, into and form part of the considered fund. <laughs> and whereas the Minister of Finance considers it necessary to borrow an amount of U.S. dollars 1.203.224 from the CARICOM Development Fund, the fund, to finance the Passions Community Water Supply Project. And whereas the loan is repayable in 10 years, commencing from the first due date after a grace period of two years following the date of the first disbursement, and whereas the loan is repayable in 40 equal, approximately equal and consecutive quarterly installments, and whereas the loan payments commence on the 40th day of March, the 40th day of June, the 40th day of September, and the 40th day of December of each year, and whereas interest payable is payable at a rate of 3% per annum on the amount of the loan this boosts understanding. Be dissolved that the Parliament authorizes the Minister of Finance to borrow the amount of U.S. dollars 1,203,224 the loan from the CARICOM Development Fund, the fund, to finance the Passions Community Water Supply Project. Be further resolved that the loan is repayable in 10 years, commencing from the first due date after a grace period of two years following the date of the first disbursement. The loan is repayable in 40 equal, approximate equal and consecutive quarterly installments. The loan payments commence on the 40th day of March, the 40th day of June, the 40th day of September, and the 40th day of December of each year. The interest is payable at a rate of 3% per annum on the amount of the loan this boosts an outstanding. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, this loan of $1.2 million, Mr. Speaker, is a loan from the Caribbean Development Fund for the Passions Community Water Supply Project, Mr. Speaker. Passions in Miku North, Mr. S in Miku North, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Passions system, it feeds several communities. St. Mary, Passions, Lumba, Laho, Monripo, Wen, Wen Development, Manicru, Prale, La Pointe, and Magritoot. Mr. Sister, Mr. Speaker, the present system is inadequate. It's inadequate, it cannot supply the people in these areas with water, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I will allow the member from Mikunov. What? I'd like, I'd like the member of Mikan North, Mr. Speaker, because he has been constantly knocking on the door to get this water product completed, Mr. Speaker. He's been constantly knocking on the door to get this water project, con this water project, Mr. Speaker, because the people in this area are suffering because of lack of water, Mr. Speaker. They are suffering. They are suffering, Mr. Speaker. And the project includes the following. Construction of a rubber wall intake on the main Fall River. Construction of a pumping station downstairs, downstream of the intake. Installation of a raw water pumping main to transport the water. Construction and installation of a water treatment plant near the existing storage tank in Luba. Installation of a water storage tank, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the overall project costs 1.4 million, 1.461996 million, or 3.9 million EC dollars, Mr. Speaker. The government will contribute 17.7% of the cost, and the Caribbean Development Bank will contribute 82.3% of, of the cost, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the government will work with Wasco, will work with Wasco, Mr. Speaker, to ensure that the product, that the project happens. Mr. Speaker, a memorandum of understanding will be written with, with, with WASCO to repay the loan to the CDF under the given terms and conditions, and the amount owing to WASCO will offset against the loan, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this exchange ag arrangement will ensure that the capital investment <coughs> is done, the people of Passions will have a better water supply, and WASCO will not be 
overly indebted. This is what the exchange is about, Mr. Speaker. Because we understand and we know, Mr. Speaker, that the people of Miku North, the people of Miku North, and you know, in terms of water, water is life, water is the necessity, Mr. Speaker. But you must ask yourself the question, why did these people, why were these people in that condition for so long? I, 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 I would not like to say anything more, Mr. Speaker, because I said water is life. But you must ask the question, why were these people under these conditions for so long, Mr. Speaker? Why? Why? Huh? They, they helped. They helped. But it, it did not improve it. It was temporary. It wasn't a real, it wasn't what is happening now. You understand? They, 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 gave, they gave some temporary relief, but the problem remains, right? So, Mr. Speaker, um, right now, Wasco supplies the residents with portable water through water trucks. That is costly and inconvenient, Mr. Speaker. So, this improvement, this capital improvement, will, will improve the water supply. And I'm, I'll be pleased, Mr. Speaker, if members support this motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.